What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, my name is Harmon. Today's video takes place in this little small town called Sherwood, Arkansas. 26 year old Christina Riggs was a licensed nurse and uh, worked long hours and was always away from her two young children, five year old Justin and two year old Shelby. She was always, she was always putting them in childcare or daycare because she was always busy working um, trying to provide a, a good living for her two young children as uh, she was divorced and uh, didn't didn't have the the support from uh, from a spouse Christina Riggs was again very depressed and decided that she wanted to kill herself but before she killed herself she didn't want to leave her two kids behind and that is why she decided on November 4th 1997 to murder her two kids before she killed herself. Christina was a full-time nurse and was a licensed nurse. Being as that may you would think as a licensed nurse you would expect her to be pretty well versed in all different kinds of medications, different drugs and all that kind of stuff. As her plan was to inject her two kids with potassium chloride and a antidepressant called Alivil. Again, if she was well versed in all these different drugs and antidepressants, she would have known that in order to make sure that the killings went as smoothly as possible, that she needed to dilute the potassium chloride. That way it wouldn't cause any internal bleeding pain and uh, any other problems. Unfortunately, Christina was not very smart apparently as she didn't know that and she ended up injecting with undiluted potassium chloride which ended up causing extreme pain for her five-year-old Justin and so while he was writhing in pain she decided to go to plan B and to smother him so she's finally smothered him and it ultimately killed him thankfully she is like oh they didn't work very well for Justin so instead of using the potassium chloride on two-year-old Shelby, she just ended up smothering Shelby. Christina obtained the antidepressant Alivil from her, from her pharmacist, and then she obtained the other drugs from, of course, the hospital where she worked at. After killing her two children, Christina wrote four or five different suicide notes, um, one to her mother, one to her ex-husband, and a couple other people. And then she ended up taking 28 tablets of the Elevil, which would have been a lethal dose. But on top of that, she injected herself with the potassium chloride, the undiluted version that she gave her son Justin. She injected herself with so much potassium chloride that it could have killed five people. So you, you would expect the combination of, of the potassium chloride and the the other lethal dose of the antidepressants to it should have killed her basically is what I'm trying to say it didn't though the next day she was discovered by her mother uh, who came to the house her mother called 911 and they immediately rushed Christina to the hospital I don't know if it was the same hospital that she used to work at but I would have if that's true that would have been kind of ironic if, if that's where she was sent to um, but either way they pumped her stomach got rid of all the toxins and she survived. And part of me thinks that she survived on purpose because no one should kill their kids for any reason. And I feel like she survived in order to feel the pain and the trauma of knowing that her two kids are dead. Christina was, of course, arrested once she recovered in the hospital. And um, she claimed she was depressed and she claimed not guilty by reason of insanity. That was her plea. Thankfully, the prosecuting team saw right through that and she was charged with both Justin and Shelby's murders and she was given the death penalty, which part of me thinks is, I don't know, it's kind of ironic. That's kind of what she wanted to begin with, right? I mean, she, she wanted to kill herself. That was, the, that was the initial reason why she killed her kids was because she wanted to kill herself and she didn't want her kids to just be left behind taken care of by whoever else she got what she wanted regardless but like she ended up taking her kids with her suicide is never the answer i feel like i should say that up front suicide is never ever the answer there's always always hope and there's always a way out even if you don't see it right now there's always a way out so the fact that she even contemplated suicide, um, it's just sad. 
it's sad that she felt that way. But if you are gonna do that, don't don't hurt or kill anyone else before you do it. I mean, yeah, it'd suck for the kids to grow up without their mom, but at the very least, they'd still be alive. It, it's just it's just a weird thing because it's like she got what she wanted, regardless. As she was executed only two years after the sentencing on May 2nd, 2000, she was executed by lethal injection, presumably by the same type of cocktail concoction that she attempted on herself. So I, I don't know, this this to me is just one of the most uh, just heart-wrenching cases because two young, innocent little kids, a five-year-old and a two-year-old, killed for, for no reason. All the way around, it's just unfortunate. Um, so Christina, Christina's childhood uh, sounds like it wasn't the greatest. From the ages of 7 to 13, she was sexually abused by her stepbrother. She then got addicted to drinking alcohol and uh, smoking weed and cigarettes. By the age of 16, she got pregnant for the first time in 1988, although that baby she gave up for adoption. She started dating a guy named Timothy Thompson, uh, who worked in the Air Force. Uh, October 1991, she found out she was pregnant again, um, and this baby, of course, turned out to be um, her, her five-year-old son, Justin. Uh, he was born June 7th, 1992. Although at this point, after Justin was born, she broke off the relationship with Thompson and uh, ended up getting together and marrying uh, John Riggs, which of course is why her last name is Riggs. When the attack on Oklahoma City building happened in 1995, Christina was dispatched to the trauma center to help out with any of the victims, as it, of course it was a huge explosion. And apparently she she got severely PTSD from, from being there and seeing all the casualties. Eventually the Riggs marriage fell apart and John uh, divorced Christina. So before Christina was executed, she said some things. Uh, I'm just going to read what it says. Um, so she said, a lot of regret. That's what goes in and out of my mind. A lot of regret. Uh, she says, God's punishing me, and that's why he let me live. He let me live so that way I would suffer. So again, when she committed the murders, she was 26. And when she was executed by the state of Arkansas, she was 28. I made it to Coweta, Oklahoma, and this is where Christina Riggs and her two children are buried and laid to rest in the cemetery called Vernon Cemetery. I guess Coweta, Oklahoma was a popular place where Christina would take the kids to see some family. And so because this was like a, a spot where Christina and the kids had, had a good time and saw family, so Christina's family decided that Christina and the two kids should be buried in a place where there was the the most happiest memories and that was here.
one of Christina's last words before she was executed um, was, I can now finally see my two babies and I'll see them in heaven. Um, that, those were her final words um, before they injected her Um, if, you ha if you happen to be in Coweta, Oklahoma, and you would like to see uh, the grave sites of Christina and the two kids, it's in Section M, uh, right when you pull in to the front entrance. And then it's about a quarter, halfway up the hill. It's basically almost in line with that like little garage or whatever um, on the right hand side. Anyway guys, if you're new around here, my name is Harmon. Um, I go around the country finding different interesting crimes and sharing them with you. So if you like crime related content, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you'll get notified when I put out new videos which is always Monday and Fridays, just so you know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. It's a crazy one, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. My name's Harmon. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.